Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's go ahead and get started here. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance. Okay. So we've got the Six of Cups, and we have the Five of pentacles in the reverse clarity guidance love messages for my virgos we have the nine of swords and we've got the page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy we've got the eight of pentacles and we've got the king of wands cancer uh, excuse me leo sag aries energy clarity guidance love messages for my virgos we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Judgment card and the Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo energy, Pre-Empress energy. Oh, okay. We've got the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. We've got the Fool. Aries energy, and we've got the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Under the deck, we have the Page of Wands, we've got the Knight of Wands, and we have the Empress. Oh, Justice card and the Emperor. Okay. So, Virgo, what we have here is communication coming in very, very swiftly, okay? I feel like with the Emperor, the Justice card, and the Emperor here... Um, I feel like what we have is someone that is coming in knowing, it's kind of like the sense of, I know that you're for me, okay? I know that you're the one for me. You balance me out. You're the one for me, okay? You're the one for me. Um, because what, what I'm seeing here is we have with the Six of Cups and the Eight of Swords in the reverse, I feel we have... I feel like someone is releasing an ex. I feel like someone is releasing an ex. Or I feel like someone knows that they should release an ex. But they don't want to. But they don't want to. Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Pentacles. Someone here is being very stubborn. There's someone here that they know they should release, but they don't want to. And what's happening here is with the Nine of Swords and the Judgment card, someone's making them sick. Someone is making it, they're trying to make a decision that's making them sick. Someone's saying, you know what, I don't want this person anymore. But at the same time, they can't sleep at night. Someone here wants to keep giving this another chance. With the Page of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like someone here is coming to a realization that they are in a very codependent energy. Someone here is actually not feeling well without the other person, okay? So it's like this energy of, you know, man, I'm really codependent on this this person like I rely on this person for my happiness and that can't be healthy right that can't be healthy with the eight of pentacles and the king of wands there's an energy here I need to work more on my self-esteem I need to work more on my self-confidence I need to be able to stand on my own two feet okay with the um with the tower in the reverse I don't see this coming back together why because with the full card and the chariot card someone here is willing to take that leap of faith and that risk to make the right decision and what I feel is going to happen from this okay what I feel is going to happen from this what we see under the deck is you're going to start talking to someone here that's going to pursue you and I feel like it is going to lead to I mean this beautiful emperor empress justice card I feel like karma is going to be on this is going to be the reward okay so it's kind of like you reap what you sow so if someone if someone puts their best foot forward, if someone here is emotionally dependent or financially dependent on another person, they're going to put their best foot forward to start working on working on becoming more independent. And by doing this, okay, you're going to start talking to somebody. So we've got a page moving on to a knight, moving on to an emperor. 
Okay, so you're going to start talking to somebody and it's going to be hot and it's going to be passionate. This may even start as a one night stand. It may even start as a sexual thing, but this is going to be the person that you marry. This is going to be the one that is meant for you. Okay, so, you know, real, you're, you're coming to this energy where this person from the past that you have not wanted to let go of, this person from your past that you have have been completely codependent on is blocking you from your best self and because you make the decision to not pursue this anymore tower in the reverse this is not coming back together anymore okay you, you know it's it's you can't it's, it's just not coming back together anymore because someone's taking that leap of faith and making a decision that's best for themselves it's going to lead to lead them to this very beautiful yeah the world card just wanted to pop out it's going to lead them to this very beautiful and very abundant place Tell me about the Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Four of Wands. I feel like someone invested a lot into a connection and was expecting it to lead to marriage, was expecting it to lead to higher levels of commitment. This could have been a soulmate connection. Um, we've got the, the Seven of Wands in the, excuse me, Seven of Swords in the reverse. The Eight of Swords in the reverse, so clarified by the Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like, in the past, you were dealing with someone that lied to you, um, cheated on you, deceived you, took advantage of you, used you like a doormat, okay? And I feel like you're letting that go. Someone here is really like forgiving and letting go of the past, letting go of past pain. Um, and this is something with the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles in the reverse. This is something that someone has not wanted to release. Someone has held onto this pain so tight. King of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Um, but now I'm feeling like someone is wanting a connection that works. Okay. So someone has been trying to pursue a situation with an ex that is just a freaking disaster. Someone did not want to release an ex and let them go. Now someone is in this energy of, I want to be in a commitment where there's stability, love, loyalty, a teammate, something that works here. Oh, look, I want an empress. I didn't realize that that flipped over. Someone here is saying, I want my empress or my emperor. I want a teammate that's going to work with me. Tell me about the nine of swords. We've got the two of wands in the reverse. Tell me about the judgment card. King of Swords in the reverse. So what's happening here, guys, is someone is making a decision to release something. They're making a decision that with the King of Swords, someone here is manipulative, narcissistic, abusive, okay? Abusive. And, you know, someone here wants to go where their love is. I feel like someone here wants to go where the love is. And look, Three of Pentacles, a teammate, a teammate, someone who truly gives as good as they get, someone that will always have your back no matter what happens, okay? Someone's looking for their ride or die. And with the five of pentacles and the seven of cups and the knight of swords in order to have victory six of wands under the deck you got to stop chasing the dream you have to stop chasing the dream virgo so there's someone here from your past that you have not wanted to release from your heart but this person has caused you a tremendous amount of pain they've lied they've deceived you they've hurt you and there's always this hope of i don't want to let it go because it was supposed to be a four of wands we were supposed to get married we we're supposed to have a family Family. We we're supposed to have all of these things. And, you know, someone just didn't want to let go of that. They didn't want to let go of that. And now someone is making the decision, no matter how hard it hurts, no matter how hard it hurts, no matter how much sleep they have to lose, they're standing strong and making a final judgment call about this King of Swords in the reverse. Page of Swords and the Two of Cups. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the nine of cups. So you see what's happening here is someone is saying, you know what? I, first of all, need to come to the realization that it's possible that this ex is in a relationship. Okay. Someone here may be finding out information that someone is in a relationship. Okay. I, that just came to me. Now, Another thing that's happening here is someone's coming to the realization that this could be a soulmate connection, but it's a connection that came to teach us a lesson. Or someone here is going to start looking for new love. Someone here is going to start looking for new love because they're finding that they are very codependent here um, from the past. Like someone here maybe has been drained from the past. Do you understand what I'm saying? And now someone is looking to have, I, I feel like someone is in need of love. They're drained and someone 
someone maybe um, knows that they need to fill their own cups. They, they, they've been relying on someone else for love for so long that now someone is in this place of, I have to practice self-love because in order for me to be in a healthy relationship, I need to love myself. I need to have my own self-esteem. And there's an awareness here. There's an awareness here with the seven of wands and the high priestess. Someone is operating from their higher self and blocking something out. Okay. Eight of pentacles temperance and the devil you see someone is going to work on healing the toxicity healing the toxicity the angel always trumps the devil in tarot okay so someone is going to work on healing their self-esteem healing whatever this this lust or whatever this this uh desire is inside of them that makes them want or need this x tell me about the king of wands the ten of swords in the reverse um I feel like this has ended and it is not, there's not a chance that this is coming back together again. What I'm feeling also is, is that this King of Wands is going to bring themselves to a place where they are never going to be able to be hurt the way they were again. They're, they're going to bring themselves to a place of independence where they are never going to allow someone to use them or hurt them in that way again. We've got the Ace of Cups and the Emperor. And when that happens, this new love gets gifted. This is the reward for spiritually ascending to that level okay tell me about the tower in the reverse three of swords yeah this is not going to come back together again either because this was a third party or because the heartache the, the, the deception here was so much that it just can't tell me about the fool and the, the four of swords someone here is taking that leap of faith taking that chance healing the chariot and the justice card in the reverse. You are going to make decisions that are best for yourself and you are not going to allow anyone to ever mistreat you again. You're standing in your power and you're emotionally disconnecting and withdrawing from people that mistreat you, Virgo. Okay? So let's see here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Virgos? Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. We have your commitment is being tested. A personal issue reaches resolution and time to give rather than take under the deck. What do you need to release? So Virgo, I feel like your commitment to yourself is what's being tested. We all should make promises to ourselves where, you know, I, 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 don't allow myself to be cheated on. I've promised myself that I would never allow that to happen to me and I'm not going to. I promised myself I'd never put myself in a third party situation. I promised myself that if someone ever lied to me, I won't be with them. Do you understand? Your commitment to yourself is being tested here. And this is a personal issue that needs to reach resolution because you're dealing with someone here that keeps on knocking it down. They keep on whatever promises you made to yourself, they just push them away. And that's what's eventually making you codependent on this person. Okay? So this is a personal issue this you're relying on this person to come in and give you this love that you need meanwhile the real antidote to your problem is self-love you need to respect yourself more love yourself more it's a personal issue okay and once you start loving yourself to the point of i'm sorry you don't want to treat me right okay next <laughs> you know what i'm saying like once you start to get into that level um you know then it'll be different. It's a time to give rather than take. So what this is an indication of uh, Virgo is, okay, you're going to meet somebody, you're going to meet somebody, and you have to be careful here, Virgo, because you're coming from a place where you are you have been deprived of love or of affection, and when you meet someone, you may be in this energy of wanting to take. You have to be careful of this because this is very dangerous. This tends to happen often. When we come out of a bad situation, as much as that situation was bad, for some reason, we tend to absorb the other person's energy. We tend to treat the new person the way the old person treated us. So if we came out of a relationship where someone was taking so much from us, 
right? Now we come into the new energy, very selfish. It's all about me. I want to take, 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 take and give nothing. Be careful with that. Don't do that because right now you're, you're coming into a connection with this mindset of if someone doesn't, you know, cater to my every need and if they don't lay down at my feet and if they don't, you know, serve me breakfast and bed, lunch and dinner and if they don't do all this other stuff, I don't want it, you know, you don't want to lose the gift of giving, okay? You don't want to become this selfish tyrant because it was done to you, okay? So be careful with that. All right, so moving on. Clar clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos. We've got all tied up here, Nine of Swords energy, financial constraints, and we've got storm warning. So I feel here, Virgo, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to leave this mer this person Um because it's it's going to hurt. You're codependent on somebody here, whether it's financial or whether it's emotional. This is a love reading. So that financial constraints could mean love or it could even be financially. You're depending on something for someone here and you've been tied to them for this reason to either give you that emotional affection or that financial assistance. And with storm warning here, shit's about to hit the fan, basically. OK, there's a sense of disconnection and, and creating your own independence here. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. So we've got commitment here. We've got decrease, an angel of the four directions, and your higher self. You're being pulled away. You're being pulled away here, Virgo, because your angels, your guardian angels, are saying the, fir the first and foremost person that you should be committed to is yourself. And then once you are committed to yourself, you can better commit to someone else in a healthier way. You are ascending spiritually here, Virgo. You are ascending spiritually here. And when you do, the reward is going to be true love. Okay? The reward is going to be true love. All right? So let's see. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Virgos. Clarity, guidance, love messages. So we've got religious factors. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. Release your ex. You're being divinely guided to release this ex, guys. You're being divinely guided to release this past person. Clarity, guidance, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Yeah, you're making the decision. You're making the decision here to release something. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, reconciliation, codependency. This person's going to try to come in and reconcile with you, okay? Virgo, you have this ex that comes in. They're going to try to work things out with you. But with codependency in the reverse, guess what? You don't need them anymore. You don't need them anymore. It's different now. You're not hanging on to their every word. You're not hanging on to their every need. You're just not, you're not doing it. You don't need them anymore. OK, so, uh, you know, they may want to come in and open up their heart and talk it out and do all this other stuff. And you're just like, I'm just not interested anymore. I'm calling in a new love. I'm calling in a true soulmate. I'm calling in someone that I can be safe with. OK, I'm calling in someone that I can be safe with. All right. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, with separation and passion, you're going to be, uh, it's kind of like going through a withdrawal. You're going to be separating from something that you were very passionate about lusting over. And I feel like this is going to bring, look, divine timing is at work in your love life. It is going to bring in a wedding and a child. You're possibly going to get married to someone, have a child with this person, or it's going to be a com someone that you do not know at all. Someone completely new, starting from fresh, but it's going to lead to emperor and empress wedding. Okay. That is beautiful for a I love you guys so much and take care. Bye.